Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I'm sorry. I suck. I suck at this YouTube thing, okay? But today I have a get ready with me on this look that you see right here. Very dramatic. I was feeling inspired, so I decided to do some fun, colorful, colorful cut crease. So yeah, if you want to learn how to get this look, please keep on watching hello guys and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna start with the eyes y'all already know i'm gonna be using my tarte shape tape just gonna dot that on the eyes and blend that out with a brush next i'm gonna take the morphe e13 and go into the shade Sokoto from the saharan palette by juvia's place i'm gonna start focusing that shade on the outer corner and while doing that blending it into the crease as well Moving on with the Morphe M441, I'm going to go into the shade Jamila and blend that into the crease. And with a smaller crease brush, I'm going to go into the shade Chad and slowly build that shade on the outer corner just to darken up the look. As you can see, after I placed that black on the outer corner, I went back in with the first two brushes just to make sure that the black is blended in with the other two colors and there's no harsh lines. Also, after I blended out that shade, I decided that the look needed a little bit more warmth. So I went into another Yugi's Place palette. This is the Zulu palette and I took the yellow shade and with a fluffy brush, I just slightly dusted that on the crease. Now moving on to my favorite part, we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. As you can see, I went ahead and placed some concealer on my lid, then looked up and with that concealer transfer, that's going to be our guideline for the cut crease. Also during this step, make sure that you're looking down so that way it doesn't mess anything up, but I can show you better than I can tell you, so just keep on watching. And now we have the perfect base for our lid color. I'm gonna be going in with the Wudabi shade in the palette. This is kind of like an old gold shade which inspired this look. I mean, just look at it, it's beautiful. And after that's done, we're gonna go back with that little small crease brush and blend those two shades together so there's no harsh lines. And just like that, we have a completed eye. And by the power of editing, here's the next one. Also, here I was pointing out the fact that my eye was watering, so ignore that. But we're going to move on to the face. So to prime, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Primer Water and the Maybelline um, Master Prime Blur Primer, my favorite. And for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Light Beige. I'm doing that all over the face and I'm using my L'Oreal sponge to blend it out. Mm -hmm. 
Going in with concealer, today I'm using the Wet n Wild Concealer. I believe this is the lightest shade in Light Ivory, but I'll have it down below if I'm wrong. I'm using this obviously to conceal and then to highlight. So to set everything in place, I'm going to be taking the shade in light palette by Kat Von D. I will be taking Lucid and Lyric, which are the two lightest in the palette. And then to bronze and contour, I will be taking the shades Shadow Play and Sombre, which are just directly beneath those light shades. As you can see, I'm very excited to highlight. Today, I'm using the Amrizi and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter, and to apply that, I will be using a Morphe M510. So here, I'm just finishing up the eyes. I'm using a smaller fluffy brush and a pencil brush to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm just using the same shades I use on my crease. And I'm also using the shade Iman, which is the white shade in the palette, to pop that in the inner corners and on the brow bone. So for lips, I'm using the L'Oreal Color Reach Matte Lip Liner in the shade Mastermind. And on top of that, I'll be going with the LA Colors Lip Gloss and the shade Fresh. Also, I forgot to apply blush earlier, so I'm doing it now. And I'm using Luminoso by Milani. And after that is done, this is the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!